Right now in San Pablo, an evacuation order is still in effect for some residents as the bomb squad is investigating the discovery of hazardous materials in a backyard shed. KTBU's Bailey O'Carroll is in San Pablo. Now you've been out there a couple of hours. There's an evacuation site as well. So what's it like out there now, Bailey? Good morning. It's relatively quiet here this morning at this evacuation site. The bomb squad, though, as we speak, investigating this hazmat situation is what they're referring to it as. They say there's a thousand bottles that contain hazardous material. They have not said if that material inside those bottles is toxic or explosive, but as a result, these evacuation orders did go into place yesterday, just before 1 o'clock. PM. Now it's expected to last about 24 hours or more here at the evacuation site at Contra Costa College. As I mentioned, there aren't too many cars out here, but it is still early this morning. Many were forced out of their homes. Now, according to the Contra Costa County fire spokesperson, authorities found out about this situation after the homeowner who passed away months ago, his brother was actually cleaning out a storage shed out back. That's when he found the chemicals. Uh, uh, it took them to a recycling center, and that's when authorities were alerted to the situation. He passed away like six months ago, and um, the house was um, empty for a while. So the guy, the brother of the guy came over and started cleaning the house, and I guess he found some biohazards. Now, according to neighbors, that brother is cooperating with officials. The neighbors told KTVU that the homeowner was a scientist who taught chemistry at UC Berkeley. And according to the county supervisor, that professor had been collecting these chemicals for over 50 years. Now, the Red Cross is on site here this morning to help anybody who did have to be evacuated from their homes. In that county supervisor this morning uh, did send out a message that said this situation could last all day today. They do hope to have it wrapped up by the end of day today, though, in hopes that these homeowners can return to their homes. Reporting live in San Pablo, I'm Bailey O'Carroll, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Bailey